Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack. Today I'm back with a Zendikar Rising Set Booster Pack. My previous pack, I cracked one of these, and so I'm going to give it a second shot and see if I can pull something cool. I'm guaranteed a foil, and up to four rares, will I call my shot like I did last time and get one rare and one common foil? Let's crack this pack. All right, first up, we have one of the art cards. Reclaim the Waste, number 72 out of 81. Not as awesome as our first one that we pulled. And then a Full Art Swamp. I haven't yet done any drafting yet, so still trying to get a sense of the cards. First up is Prowling Felidar, 4 mana, 3 and a white. It's a cat beast at 2-3, has Vigilance, Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Prowling Felidar. I think this could be pretty good. With any of the Zendikar sets, land is something that you're going to have. And so putting a counter on this, I'm just going to let it grow. Tazim Raptor, 3 mana, 2 and a white bird at 2-2. Two, two. It's a flyer. When Tazim Raptor enters the battlefield, you may return a land you control to its owner's hand. So if you don't happen to have a land in your hand, you return one, you play it, and Prowling Felidar gets another counter. Mesa Lynx, 2 mana, 1 and a white cat at 2-1. As long as it's not your turn, Mesa Lynx gets plus 0, plus 2. I don't know how well this fits into a white strategy unless you're going a little defensive. Typically you want to be attacking. Having this sit back as a 2-3 blocker doesn't seem to be that great. Vanquish the weak. 3 mana, 2 and a black. Instant. Destroy target creature with power 3 or less. Pretty handy black removal spell. That's going to take care of threats early on in the game. Blood Price. 4 mana, 3 and a black, sorcery. Look at the top 4 cards of your library. Put 2 of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You lose 2 life. 4 mana, draw 2, lose 2 life. At least you'll dig through the top 4, maybe find something good. I think in limited it's okay. Iridescent Horn Beetle, 5 mana, 4 and a green. Insect at 3-4. At the beginning of your end step, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token for each plus one plus one counter you've put on creatures under your control this turn. This seems to be a card that could get out of control really quickly, either in green-white, maybe even green-black. You're going to be putting plus one plus one counters on creatures. I could see this being a bomb uncommon and pretty hard to deal with. Our first showcase card is Prowling Felidar. 4 mana, 3 and a white. Cat Beast at 2-3 has Vigilance. We already saw Prowling Felidar earlier. So in the same pack, we got the regular version of it, and then we got the showcase version of it. Next common is Tormenting Voice. 1 and a red, Sorcery. As an additional cost to cast the spell, discard a card, draw 2 cards. I like this spell quite a bit in red, pitch a land, draw two additional cards. In standard, there's Thrill of Possibility, which is an instant. This is a downgrade at sorcery speed. Taunting Arbor Mage, three mana, two and a green. Elf Wizard at two, three. It has Kicker of three generic. When Taunting Arbor Mage enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, all creatures able to block target creature this turn do so. This is one of these creatures that comes down, has a lure effect. It's something that I'll hold on to later in the game. If I need to get the last points of damage through, I'll play Taunting Arbor Mage, I'll kick it, I'll select one of my smaller creatures, everything blocks it, and then my other creatures go in for the victory. Oh, wow. This is crazy. So I only picked up two of these set booster packs, and in the last video... I pulled a Nighthawk Scavenger. In this video, I pulled another Nighthawk Scavenger, which is cool because I want a play set of these 
and I don't go out and spend a ton of money on singles. In our play group, we just basically play with the cards that we pull out of packs or when we do our booster box draft. So already having two of these in two packs is pretty cool. Nighthawk Scavenger, three mana, one generic and two black Vampire Rogue at one plus asterisk three. It has flying, death touch, lifelink. Nighthawk Scavenger's power is equal to one plus the number of card types among cards in your opponent's graveyards. This has a very similar effect to Tomagoyf, except for there isn't much addition to the toughness side. It's simply the power side, and it's only an opponent's graveyard. I think with the blue-black mill theme, Nighthawk Scavenger can do a ton of work. And then we have a foil, Molten Blast. So three mana, two and a red, instant. Choose one, Molten Blast deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. Destroy target artifact. I like that Wizards is going in this direction. Having just a card that says destroy target artifact a lot of times is unplayable, even in limited. But having a card where you can choose one of two things, either dealing two damage to a creature or a planeswalker is okay. It's not great at three mana. But if I need to, in a pinch, destroy a troublesome artifact, I can use Molten Blast for that. And once again, I did call my shot a single rare and a common foil. And then a Core Warrior token creature at 1-1. One, one. My favorite card, a best card of the pack. Um, I did Nighthawk Scavenger last time. It's definitely a card that I like. I think this time around, Iridescent Horn Beetle is going to be a card in limited that will be very troublesome to deal with. I know that it comes down on turn five, but green really has the ability to ramp. If you can get Iridescent Horn Beetle out quickly and then start putting counters on your creatures, you're going to be able to create a bunch of 1-1 green insect creature tokens that will clog up the ground. And then once you've set up your board with all these insects, giving any of your other creatures evasion, whether it's menace or trample, is just gonna seal the deal for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Take some time to tell me in the comments section what was your favorite card or best card of the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack my next pack of Magic the Gathering.